Hi everyone, I hope that you're doing well, and if you're not doing well, that's okay too, just note that it's temporary. My name is Tristan Skye, and I'm a psychic medium. So today I'm going to be pulling cards for you. I'm clairvoyant, so I see things, so I'm going to pass along things that I see within spirits, and things that I see within the cards that I'm going to pull. So these will be grouped messages, so of course take what resonates and leave what doesn't, because it's not personally just to you. But I believe everything happens for a reason, so if you're drawn towards this video, then it's because there are messages for you. Yeah. So today's pick a card reading will be about your relationship, about this connection, about how can you improve as a partner. I love working on myself, trying to be the best version of myself, and therefore being the best partner I could be. So I have three groups for you, so your job is to intuitive, intuitively choose a crystal, um, see what you're drawn towards, see what resonates, see what feels good in your body. Perhaps you need to pause the video and meditate, take a deep breath, and just kind of feel which, which group you're drawn towards. So group one will be clear quartz crystal, group two will be the rose quartz, and group three will be malachite. So choose a crystal, and I will put the timestamps in the description box below. So you just have to click, you know, on the timestamp for your reading. So I will start with clear quartz, and then rose quartz, and then malachite, okay? So hi, group number one. Those of you who chose the clear quartz crystal, I absolutely love this crystal. It's so pretty. It's sparkly, and it's shiny. Um, it's one of my favorites. It's pure. It's cleansing. It's fresh energy. Maybe that's why you're drawn towards it, but let's kind of see what's going on in your connection um, and see how you can improve as a partner. So I just need to cleanse my energy real quick. Okay, so let's do it. So let's just see. So right off the bat, I'm getting a sense of trying, like attempting really hard like either doing a lot of self-work on yourself in general already. So there's a, you're already in that sense of how can I be the best version of myself possible? How can I be the best partner possible? Yeah. I'm sensing like, not that there's tension between you and your partner or significant other or person you're seeing, but there's like a sense of not seeing fully eye to eye or like communication is wrong, but like I'm trying really hard. It's like you're trying very hard to make things work or you're trying really hard to better yourself, but not seeing something, or something is still... Uh, we haven't figured it out yet. There's like a piece of the puzzle missing, right? But let's see. This seems new. So this could even be like a new connection, or this. there's just new awareness found, like perhaps a wound from your childhood is coming up randomly, or something traumatic is coming up. Like, there's just, there's new energy that needs to be addressed here. Either this is because it's a new connection or whatever, but there's something new that needs to be figured out, let's say. I'm sorry, my dear, I'm feeling like you're perhaps feeling a bit confused, like I said. Like, we don't know which way to go. We don't know how to heal or how to fix this, or like why I am the way I am. For instance, perhaps, why am I so anxious around him? Or why am I so avoidant around him? Like, where is this coming from? I'm seeing a lot of deep reflection, but also a lot of confusion. But I really like your journey. There is a really nice self-discovery type of energy, and I really feel like it's being mastered right now. Like, this is really deep, soulful work, so I'm proud, let's say. You seem to be an intellect of some sort, so either like, let's say there's something going on with your childhood, then you're reading a lot of books about childhood, or you're doing a lot of reflection, or if there's something with attachment styles, like anxious, avoidant, and you're doing a lot of research on this, I feel like you're really trying really hard to master self-discovery here, not just for yourself, but for your partner as well, or just relationships in general. I really see that, and I really like it. I can see you... Also, perhaps seeing, saying things that aren't being received from your person. There's like, like let's say you see something, they, they may not, and that's okay. So being aware that we're all on our own journey, so you might be aware of something or see something with a connection, and they may not. And you may try to convince them, try to be like, for instance, let's say you think they are not listening to their heart, you think they're too in their head, you might be like, I think you're, you know listening to your head too much, not following your heart, but they may disagree. 
So I'm just saying you might see things that are true and objective and they may not and that's okay. So give yourself grace and patience for that. Okay, let me just pull some oracle cards for you. Uh huh. Okay, so root. So energies of grounding down. So you might be too much in your head, like I have here with King of Swords. So you might be thinking too much or being, you might feel a bit anxious these days or you're thinking too much about the issues going on right now. So making sure you root down, you ground, you ground down, spending time in nature, right? Um, by the way, Aquarius energy is showing up strongly, so that can make sense or not, but it could, you could be an Aquarius or your partner as well. Um, or not, you know, but there's definitely mental energy, that's for sure. Okay, then we have Ascendant, Entrance. It's weird. I'm also sensing like a strong sense of self at the same time here, which feels really good. So although you're very questioning yourself, like you might be glowing up. You might be taking care of your health and your hair and your beauty and your skin and your nails. Like there is that sense. Like you, I really do see you working on yourself and in, in many different ways, which will help just not you, but the connection in general, right? Like it's just, I, I really like that, that um, working on self energies. Seems like your person is also quite working on themselves as well. <laughs> Seems like you might be a couple or something that really values self-improvement because I definitely see that in your partner as well. Yeah, it feels like you and your person kind of help each other out. Like you guys seem like friends or like life partners, like soulmates. I don't know how new this connection is, but there is that sense of working together to help each other grow. There seems to be a really strong friendly energy here. Like you guys are friends first, like romance partners afterwards. I don't know. But there's a lot of quick energy here. So whatever is not right, whatever you feel like is going on right now, like cause I am sensing a lot of self-doubt here, but there, I can see this being healed quickly. I can see you healing yourself quickly. I can see you figuring things out quickly. Small moments of breakthroughs very quickly. Exhaling. I feel anxious energy, right? So definitely ground down, right? Yeah, so I just pulled this card. The Healing Lagoon. Very pretty. So it says, rejuvenate, recovery, time to heal, it's safe to stop. So you might be going too much on the treadmill right now. You might be like, get off the treadmill. You're running too much. You're trying to figure things too much. There's a lot of head energy here, a lot of trying figuring things out. And sometimes stopping is what's best. Sometimes healing, sometimes not thinking or trying to make things work is what's best. It seems counterintuitive. Like if you really care about a person, um, you know, you want to figure things out, but actually sometimes just taking care of yourself, resting, breathing, taking a bath, perhaps water, you know, could be even more helpful than you think. A couple more cards here. Oh, I love it though. Really good energies here. I'm getting forgiveness. So if you felt like you were too much or you did something wrong or you guys weren't seeing eye to eye, I can see you guys forgiving each other with love and, and joy, um, really being there for each other. And I think that's good too. If you're in your head too much, if you're arguing too much, come back to love. Just come back to forgiveness and acceptance and compassion. I could really see you guys building something together and really moving forward, like finding strong healing, helping each other grow in many ways, right? And there could be something too with inner child healing, like I mentioned before, or healing something to do with a child, let's say, so you guys might have a child, or one of you might have a child, but there's something to do with inner child healing, or healing to do with a child, but that's, who knows, that there's, a, it's a group reading, so take what resonates, but, and leave what doesn't, but, um, this connection seems constructive in many ways, and helping each other grow. Um, but yeah, big messages to, to relax a bit and ground down. That's where your wisdom will come, right? That's where the meditation comes, the reflection comes, that's when the universe speaks to you, right? 
Um, but that's all the messages I have for you. I hope you found that helpful. But I'm sending blessings. Namaste. Hello, group two. Those of you who chose the rose quartz crystal. This is one of my favorite crystals. Probably my favorite crystal. So simple. So loving. Self-compassionate. Pink. Gentle. I love this one. It's so self-healing and gentle. All right. Let's see what's going on in this connection, what's going on between you and your partner, what they think of you, and how you can improve as a partner, right? How can you improve as a couple? Okay. I can see you guys being fiercely attached to each other. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, but uh, I already sense co there could be signs of codependency or unhealthy attachment styles, just to start off the reading, sorry. But there's like strong attachment here, which seems really good, like strong affection. But there could be neediness or, or focusing too much. Either you're on, on, I don't know on which side, either you are or they are, right? Let's just see what this person thinks of you. This could be a new connection as well, like it's just coming up really strong, you know. This person could be afraid of losing you as well, so maybe that's why there's a strong attachment thingy. Maybe this person is a bit anxious because this person likes you so much. You might be quite anxious about this connection. I, I just feel like there's so much love and attraction and abundance. It's like, I like this person so much that I'm anxious about it. But I don't know if it's on your side or his, actually. I don't know which side it's on, but I'm definitely sensing anxiety, perhaps. Maybe a lot going on at work as well. There's just a lot going on. So there's... Okay, so patience, healing, we're going to take things slow, one day at a time, no rush. You don't have to figure this out right now. <laughs> this person isn't going anywhere, all right? So you can focus on you, they can focus on them. Like, there's a sense of letting go. We must let go of this connection in some way or another. It doesn't mean break up with this person, but there's like a sense of not controlling or, or, or manipulating, but really letting go to allow things to flourish. He really cares about you, that's for sure. But I feel like also is a bit worried about you for some reason. And almost feels like perhaps he's at fault. Like I almost think like your person thinks he's hurting you or something. Which may or may not be true, but he thinks that and he's worried about you for some reason. Yeah, you might feel, um, don't know where to go. Kind of feeling stuck. I can see you asking a lot of people for advice. Like what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? It seems like going back to strong attraction yet something isn't working, like, or something is off because I like him so much, or I feel so anxious, or we're not seeing eye to eye, yet we love each other so much. There's, like, big energies here. I almost feel like you want to move forward with this connection, but this person isn't doing that. This person might be at a standstill, or there could be a standstill, like, things aren't moving much, like, there's stagnant energy. It's like we want things to move forward or not, but it's like we want to go somewhere, but it isn't. So that's why it's kind of like we're, we're stuck or we're staying still, but like there's no answers, right? Patience is a good, good thing for here. So there's something about your person, maybe this is blunt, but being unaware or like not fully um, understanding things from like a spiritual, energetical perspective kind of deal, like isn't seeing like, a soulmate connection as much as you are, if there is one, or, like, not connecting to his emotions or to his spiritual senses. Like, there's something, like, avoiding about how he truly feels. And there's something about you see this, like, you kind of see where things could be, or you're seeing potential, or you're seeing things that he isn't. And, yeah, I do sense high highs and low lows right now. Like, the, the good is so good. You know, perhaps the sex is so good. Or, but also, when things aren't good, it's really frustrating. It's really upsetting, right? Also, for you, too, there's something with connecting to the moon and connecting to your intuition. You might already be that in this connection, but, like, even more. So spending more time with spirit, more time finding the inner wisdom within, right? Okay, so we have this card here. 
it says, we are nature becoming grounded, embodiment, living in connection, right? So spending time in nature, very specific, but it'll do wonders for you. <laughs> Separate from this connection, get fresh air, ground down, touch a tree, look at a sunset, right? Smell a flower, like really connect to the wisdom within nature, ground down. You know, when you spend time in nature, you kind of spend time with yourself alone. As You can go with a friend, but actually just breathing in, breathing out, feeling nature will do wonders for you. Okay, love. Look at this. Okay. The thorn, it says, protection, boundaries, clear communication. All right. So, you know, it could be um, boundaries are being pushed on one side, so someone not respecting the other person's boundaries, so perhaps putting stronger boundaries, so honoring the other person's boundaries, but also putting some for yourself to protect yourself. You are a beautiful rose, so you are attractive and alluring, but even a rose has thorns to protect themselves. Being more clear in your communication, right, and that can be a bit tricky. So that's something spending in nature, figure, reflection, meditating, figuring out what do you need, what is working, what is not. So then you can come to this person with clear boundaries and clear communication without being distraught with emotions, right? So like taking time away so you can kind of gather yourself self better for the connection, right? Yeah, so there is something about looking within a lot more. There's something about looking outside of you, asking friends or asking your partner for help or advice. Like, can you understand me? Can you see me? Can you see where I'm coming from? But actually to step back and look within. There's something about taking a break and letting go. That's strong here, right? I'm saying right a lot, like, right? Um, I want to say concentrate also on you, on your work, on your goals, on your dreams. More essence towards you because it makes the other person more attracted to you in a way. He's um, very attached to you as well. Like this could be a very strong partnership that I'm sensing here. Like king and queen energy. So maybe you're the queen and this person is the king. Um, there's really strong potential. But it's like, come back to you. Come back to who you are as a person. There could be a sense of I lost myself a bit. And I want to say with time, not maybe not right now, but give this time to flourish and give this time to connect. And even for this, for your person too, your person might be busy as well, like in having other goals and dreams that may not involve you, but that's a good thing because this person shows that they have dreams and goals. And I can really see this coming together. Right, okay. So I want to say make sure you're not blaming yourself too much or blaming, there's a lot of blame going on. So you might blame the other person or blame yourself. You might, you, stop that. <laughs> no more of that. Um, but really just see everything as information, just gather, meditate on it, see how things are, no more blaming yourself or the person, because I don't know who it is, but also making sure you're manifesting good things, so see yourself happy, see yourself in harmony, like keep up the manifestation work. You seem to be someone that could be quite powerful with manifestation and quite powerful with connection in a way, and like you might follow signs a lot. I can, I'd like, if you see numbers, like 111 or like a butterfly, you might really connect to like signs from spirit as well. Like you seem to be one with the universe, right? So connect, maybe doing like a, a mood board or a vision board or like some type of spell or just journaling, like really finding out what you want to manifest because you don't want to manifest bad things, right? Something about space. So I don't know if you guys are taking time apart and then coming back together. But that seems quite healthy. Like there's a sense of like there's something unhealthy with the attachment styles right now. So space might be well, but the future can show very promising energies if you do the work within yourself. Right. So I hope this makes sense for you. I will pull one more card. All right. I got two for you. Okay, so, oh my gosh, wow, yeah, okay, so the first one is Cosmic Ocean, <gasps> kind of aligns with what I was saying. It says, current dreams, future realities, new beginnings. So there is that sense of like, what I'm thinking now will happen in the future, which I love. There's something very future about this connection too, so it's like, we're looking long term and we're looking at what things can be. 
new beginnings, new sense of self. So I like this. So it's you're not doomed if you think you are. It's not the end of the world. Like there's something really new forming, you know, keeping up with your dreams coming true. And then I love this too. Isle of Avalon. It says healing, returning to wholeness, transformation. Kind of the vibes here. So taking time out, right? Going into nature, healing. You're whole. You are whole without... You have to realize that too. We all do. It's like... Even without your partner, you are whole. Often we feel like once we meet our lover, our soulmate, it's like we're complete now. But you have to remember that you're complete just the way you are. You are whole. So coming back to the wholeness of who you are, right? But I do see transformation, strong transformation for you for what's to come. Like butterfly, like blooming into a butterfly for this connection or a new connection. But really being the best version of yourself possible. But a lot of, you might, you might be talking to a therapist or an, an energy healer or a card reader. You might be seeing a lot of those right now as well. I love that. I love self-improvement. But that's all the energies I have for you. I hope you found this helpful. You can like, share, comment the video, or you can even donate at www.tristansky.com. I love energy exchange. Thank you for letting me read your cards. Namaste. Hi, friends. Those of you who chose the Malachi Crystal, group number three, this is a very pretty crystal. Connects to the heart chakra, also to the root. It's a very grounding yet um, heart opening crystal. I love it. Let's look at the energies of your connection. What does he think about you? How can you improve as a partner? All right. This seems quite serious. We're thinking about either moving in with this person or marrying this person or taking the next step. We're really looking forward into this, but we're kind of like, should we go forward or not? Like, we still have some hesitations or some doubts, but it's like, I'm kind of ready to move forward or should we move forward or this person wants to move forward, but there is that, that sense, right, that I'm sensing here. This person sees you as a nurturer of some sort, either you take care of him emotionally or even financially, but there is that sense where he sees you as a giver, right? Like he sees you of importance and sees that you bring a lot to the table, right? He sees you as very strong and independent. It's like you've been through a lot and you can stand on your two feet kind of deal. He does see you as that. But I can sense that he senses your hesitation as well. So if you're not sure what to do with this connection, I believe that he feels it too. And that's okay, because you're allowed to think that. It's good to be reflective here. But, okay, let's just see what, okay. Because I'm definitely getting that. You're definitely reflecting. I do sense a lot of love. So no matter what, there's still a lot of love here. Like true love, you know? Like real love, it seems it seems quite nice. There's something about waiting for something to get better or something, or is like is this like you can tell that this person likes you a lot. You might think that this person likes you more than you like him. You can sense that he's kind of waiting. Maybe he's waiting to take things further. Like the ball's in your court. Like this person could already have asked to move in with you or to marry you or to be official, yet um, you're the one that's still hesitant here, but I can sense that he's patient and kind because he likes you so much. I, I feel like there's so many green flags though. It's like the perfect house is ready or like everything, like whatever it is, whatever the next step is for your relationship, it kind of seems perfect or it's too good to be true. Yet we have hesitation. So I would love to see what's going on in that hesitation. Because the energies seem to be quite good. This seems to be a good new connection. Yeah, there's something new. So we are stepping into something new. And that can be quite scary, right? A new journey. So it's like, okay, now we're official or now we're married. So that's why there's hesitation. But I want to say go for it. Even if this isn't your person, it's still good to, to just not live life. So definitely live. And sometimes you'll fall or sometimes you'll triumph. But there's something, um, good. 
there's something to let go of. I want to say there's a fear here, like I'm scared, to, like I've never been married, so I'm scared to get married, or I've been married before and I don't want to get married again, or it's like last time I moved in with something and it didn't work out, so I'm scared to move in again. Like there are fears here that I feel like I have nothing to do but the connection itself. So I want to say spend time reflecting, you know, rebirth, let go of what used to be so you can go into what's to be. Like there's something about letting go of some type of wound or trauma from a past relationship or from parents growing up, but there's something here preventing us from moving forward, right? Yeah, a lot of love here. I think this is good. I think this is good. There's, it seems very new, so this could be a new connection as well, or th like I said, a lot of new energy here. Like, um, we got Ace of uh, Cups and Ace of Pentacles here, which I love. Right? So, like, new romance, moving in together, new sense of self. Then we have the Fool, Ace of Hearts, once again. New things are scary, but I'm getting good energy, right? But let's just take a closer look at the energies. Um, okay. Like, give this person a chance, kind of deal. Um, open your heart. You could be a bit guarded, so open up. Okay, my dear? Um, because that's how we learn, and that's kind of why we're here on Earth. You know, as a human, is to learn and grow and love and heartbreak and do all those things. So I want to push you to go for it. I love this. So, water codes. It says, ancient wisdom, the intelligence is within you. So trust yourself. Feel. Feel. Okay, spend time feeling. How do I feel about this person? How do I feel about... Like, place yourself in that next step. And how does it feel? How will it feel if I marry him? How will it feel if I move in with him? How will it feel if I join a bank account with him? Or how do I feel if I just become official with him? If we're just, you know, chatting. Like, kind of find the intelligence within you and listen to it. Perhaps it's yes, perhaps it's no. But really listening to, you know, yourself. I think you might have a really good sense of boundaries. You might be like, this is what I like and this is what I don't like. I can see you finding negative qualities within your person. And sometimes concentrating on the negative and not looking at the positive. Which is fine, which is normal. But it's to remember, to all, like, we all have good and bad. So if you can accept the negative qualities or not. But that has to be decided. Either... I'm overreacting. Everyone has bad qualities, and yes, that's that's fine that he does this. Or, I can't do this anymore, and I must move on. But that has to be decided here, and that's, um, you know, up to you. But to start, like, manifesting and start thinking about what do you want as a partner, what do you want your future to look like, kind of setting out those vibrations, those energies, and see if this person is a match to that. Scorpio Aquarius energy is present, that can make sense, or not. Maybe this person or you has those in your chart, or not. Wow, okay, so we have Midheaven, like a beautiful castle here. So, you may, I feel like you're at a good place, really at a good place in your career, or where you're heading in life, you know. You have your dreams and your goals already maybe relationship aside. So now it's kind of like the feelings for someone and now I gotta invite someone into my space. It's kind of like messing with that up. It's like, I didn't expect to like this person or I didn't expect to fall in love. or It's just kind of messing with my goals in a way. It's kind of what I'm sensing. And that's cute. But the sun, I really think this is a good person for you. If you're doubting it, I think this is a really good person. I think this person likes you, cares for you, respects you, is able to change themselves for you in a way, and not, not to say that they're dishonest or inauthentic, but they're willing to grow as a person because you're worth it. But I do think you could soften your edges a bit from what I'm feeling here. It's definitely what I'm sensing. All right, let's pull a couple more cards for you, and I have for you, Azriel. So it says, you wouldn't be who you are with what you have overcome. Own your story. Wow. So you are the way you are from what you have went through. Positive and negative. So perhaps you're so guarded because of what you've been through. Or perhaps you're so distrustful because of what you've been through. You know what I mean? So really looking within and seeing how you are the way you are. 
being proud of the things you've accomplished and the things you have healed, but also kind of doing the shadow work and seeing what can I heal next. Self-mastery here, really looking within. There is a sense of avoiding my feelings or avoiding things. So making sure you spend time to meditate, to go a walk in nature by yourself or do something to really reflect, perhaps journaling and getting all that juicy information about your feelings and how you know, you want to move forward in this connection or just in general or just any other things of life, but really looking more within, right? Okay, my friends, that is it for you. I hope you thought this was helpful. If you did, please like, comment, share this video. I really appreciate energetical support, energy exchange. You can also donate at www.tristansky.com. I would really appreciate it. But I wish you the best. Lots of love. Namaste.